video begins, I would like to give a big, big thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video once again, but a little bit more on them very soon. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited for today's video. Uh, firstly, because it involves falls, which is one of the best things ever. I mean, if anybody who likes horses loves falls, um, but especially because I'm going to be reacting and seeing for the very first time Sereno's babies. Now, Sereno's the horse I bought last year in Spain. He's a six-year-old stallion. I'm really, really looking forward to see what his babies look like. Now, last year they did breed him between 10 and 15 mares. I'm not so sure. I do have a few questions about all of that, which is why I'm going to be calling his previous owner, getting some info. And then we're going to be seeing what these foals look like. Now, breeding is something that... I find very interesting. It's something I definitely see myself going into that direction. The reason being is I've had a lot of demand to sell semen from my stallions, which has been uh, a huge compliment from everybody. So to anybody who's interested, that will be happening in the future. And hopefully that will be worldwide. Um, and secondly, it's because when I ride my stallions, I just wish I'm like, if only other people could feel what I feel, if only other people could see what it's like to ride these horses with their characters, with how beautiful they are, with everything they give you. I think what we should do first is let's call Nuria. She's uh, Serena's previous owner. Let's ask her a few questions uh, and then let's head on to reacting to the falls. I wanted to, I wanted to just have a little chat with you because we have been talking a little bit about, you know, Sereno and like what was going on before I had him and you obviously had him for a while. How is, how is him? Huh? He's doing good. I mean, we're having a little bit of difficulty with the leg still. The vet came out yesterday to see it again because I'm, I just want to make sure everything's going good. So he has a few options that I have to pick from. There's an option to have a small surgery or to keep going the same way. So I just have to have a little think about it um, and see what to do. I'm not sure yet. We will we will see. But I, I did I did want to ask you a little bit because I was quite surprised when I did find out in the beginning that there were some babies that were going to be coming from from him. And I know that's something you were also really, really excited about to see how it was going to go. So I just wanted to... I just wanted to ask you because when I see Sereno, he's so chilled and he's so quiet, but how was breeding him? Because when, I, when I'm standing next to Mez, when I do any of that, he's so quiet. It's You forget he's a stallion, but how is he when he's breeding? I'm a really, really good, uh, a really good uh, horse covering. His character is... Um, uh, you know, but, but was it easy like when you presented the mare, does he quickly do everything? Oh, yes. so he knows his yes. job. He knows his job yes. and he yes. gets it done right. He's a little, he's a little bit so heavy. It's like mm, so much uh, body. I don't know. How to, yes, I don't know. It's like too many. Mm, I I don't know how to say it. Mm, he won't need. Yeah. And so you know. He gets. But, he wakes up yeah. then. Yes. So exciting. He is so. so exciting. And uh, exactly how really many really good. and exactly how many mares did he cover last last year? Because we're now looking at because I still haven't seen anything, so I'm really really excited to see okay. the videos now, you sent me of now, the falls. Yes, five falls. Okay, five falls. Yes, three. They are mares. Three mares and two. And the other yes, and the other two. Yes. Okay, that's very, very exciting. Uh, yes, and during, I don't know, maybe in one month, no, in September, they have to burn another two. Yeah, and for people in Europe, it's going to sound very strange because usually now it's pretty much the latest time that falls are coming. If not, they should have already come. But in Spain, you don't have seasons because it's always, it's not that cold. So a lot of horses, even Sureno was born in September. So a lot of horses yes. get born later in Spain. It's the same as in Australia. It doesn't matter too, too much about the weather and what's going on. Um, Here is not a, a problem, the weather, you know. Yeah. I, we, also, we try not not uh, the coolest uh, instead of the, the warm. Yeah, that's because true. It's probably better. 
It's probably better to have them when it's cool. Yeah, that's right. And uh, with the and with the falls, do you know? Have you seen a little bit what the character has been like? Is it like him yes. or because yes. I'm I, I'm curious how that's yeah. gonna be. They are so big, all of them. They really. So big and and re and they have a uh, a really a uh, big bones. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. The three um, canta on the walk and the. The three truck. paces walk truck, canta are good. Yes. Yes. Yeah, because it's always, you know, you never know what a stallion is going to pass down to the falls. You know, you can have a really good stallion and then the falls just don't take that. Maybe they take from the previous lines from the mares, you know, and it's not all about breeding. Also, also, he's, he's a new stallion because he don't have, he doesn't have any fall before. Yeah, this is his know? first year of his falls being born. But I can't wait. I'm so excited to see because you, I saw you send me some photos and videos I haven't looked yet. You are... Now you are a grandpa. I know. I'm a granddad already. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you. Thank you so much for the phone call. I really appreciate it. And I'm I'm going to go have a look at all the falls. I hope they look like him. Okay. Do, they, do they look like him? Yes, I think so. Okay. I'll have a look and I'll let you know. Okay. Okay, okay perfect. Bye. Thank you so much. i talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Squarespace is an amazing platform that allows you to use pre-made templates for you to really have the look and feel you have always dreamt of for your website. It is so super easy to navigate and use. I can even do it myself. I often jump in, edit things, quickly update things. I can even do it on my phone if I'm on the go and there needs to be some urgent little change. I've entrusted hundreds and hundreds of people to go on my website without a problem to purchase products, to have a look at blogs potentially you can have anything you want there at all so for anybody out there who's interested i do have a special code for you it is www.squarespace slash matt harnicky and you will be receiving 10 percent off your first purchase of a website or domain thank you so much again squarespace for sponsoring this video and now back to serena's baby okay thank you so much nuri you're so sweet for being part of that conversation i know english is tough for you but you did really really good uh very, very interesting to hear about how quiet Sereno is with breeding. That's something that really kind of uh, I wasn't so sure about because he's so chilled. Like when it comes to breeding, you know, they have to be awake. They have to get the job done. And for instance, when we went and collected semen from uh, Antares when he was still a stallion, at the beginning, he just had no idea what to do and how to do it. It took him a really long time until he jumped the dummy and did his thing. Um, so with, Ser with Sereno, I was like, okay, is he gonna like just have no idea and be chill? But apparently he was a breeding machine. So that's very, very good to know. Um, I have all the videos. They've all been sent to me now. So let's go right ahead and react to the videos and see for the very first time Sereno's babies. Oh yeah, I see a video. Okay, wait, it's spoiling everything. Okay, we're gonna start off with the first video which i've already seen is a chestnut fall now i don't know if there was a chestnut or not but let's see okay i'm gonna i'm gonna click play let's see what it let's see what it looks like <gasps> oh oh my god <laughs> they're so funny when they're just running around God, that broke my heart. Okay, I wanna go, I don't know, I don't know what to say. It's very strange to think that that's Sereno's, uh, Sereno's child. One thing I did notice straight away is that it has two really big hind socks, which Sereno also has, um, which is interesting. And I also think the head looks a little bit like Sereno's as well. Let's go to the next slide. Oh, it's a photo, let's have a look. I'm zooming, I'm zooming. Yeah, I think the. Le firstly, the, the fall is huge. It's huge. Look at the legs. Look at the head. It's huge. But if we focus on the head, I really see like a resemblance with Sereno in the head. Am I just seeing that? Like, also for some people that don't know, falls a lot of the time come out one color and then they will kind of change code and transition. I'm not an expert. I'm not the best at falls or any of that kind of stuff. But I do see a big difference a lot of the time from the first code they get born into and and later on. 
I have a feeling this chestnut will probably go gray because I believe the mum was gray and two grays don't make a chestnut usually. I mean, I don't know, but I might, it's my guess anyways. Okay, let's go to the next thing. Oh, uh, look at him. Okay, in this photo, the first thing, I don't know about you guys, but the first thing that I see in this photo is Sorrento's mouth. Like, zoom into the mouth. Sorrento has that kind of shape of like a slightly smaller bottom lip and a protruding top lip with the nose. Also the shape of the, the head. Oh my god. Well, he's very cute. He's really, really cute. Look at him. Okay, next one. <gasps> okay, it's another, it's another color again. I got It's another color. Okay, so this time... This fall looks to be bay. Let's 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 play. Oh my god. Look again, it's got two hind kind of white socks things happening and it has like a little star. Is that the other fall of Serena also in the back? Okay, both grey mares, which I'm guessing maybe this one will also I don't think this fall will stay bay either. I think this fall will also go grey. <gasps> Whoa, it's really big. These falls are not very old. Let me see the movement. Let me see the movement. Oh my god, how cute. This makes me want to breed so bad. I'm freaking COVID ruined everything this year. Oh, look at that trot. Yes, Kanta. Whoa. I like how it's already used to dogs. Oh my god, how cute. Oh, we're getting a little montage now. Oh, we're gonna see the chestnut move. Okay, the movement very much like Sereno. In the trot, the chestnut maybe more so than the bay. The chestnut definitely moves like Sereno. Whoa, that's so strange. The mom is also very pretty. How cute. I wonder how big these falls will get. The moms don't look that big, so maybe they will not grow huge but the bones and the knees look huge which is usually like a good indicator oh look how sweet oh my god bless cute no okay we're ready for the next one i'm not ready but we're ready okay let's have a look oh my god <laughs> where did this one come from Okay, I'm not seeing the resemblance at all here. It's like this little bay thing. No, very cute, but no socks, no bling on the head, no white. Also, an an another gray mare, which I would presume maybe the foal will go gray also. I don't know. Maybe not, I don't know. Oh, maybe. Oh, it's so cute. Look how inquisitive it is. It's quite friendly. Okay, this one I think is the one that looks the least like Sreno, I have to say. No. Okay, and there's one more video of him. <gasps> Ooh, yes, I like seeing movement. Oh wow, the trot's nice. Very leggy. Look at those legs. Legs for days. Oh my god. Cute. Oh, uh, there's something about falls, like they just make you happy and just want to like watch them all day in the field. This is also why we need more stables because I want to breed. No, very, very cute. Okay. Okay, well, I think that's all the videos I have for now. I will be having some more videos sent to me of some other falls, of some falls that still need to be born. Uh, sadly, people being in Spain and difficult to organize these things, guys. It's been kind of in the works for already a few weeks, but I might even have to make a visit for myself to go and see these falls in real life. I would really love to see the characters and interact with them a little bit, especially because I know their dad, their father so well. Just crazy to think that your horse that's just sitting in your stables has the power to re reproduce and make another little Sreno that will be running around and and giving so much pleasure to other people. It's just crazy. Even though, hello, I know that's how the world works, but to actually think that it happens blows your mind. But yeah, well, 
I think that is everything for now. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Do let me know what you think of his falls. I know we didn't get to see all of them, but we definitely got a bit of an idea and I'm I'm curious what you guys think. Let me know if let me know. I'm I'm also really curious to hear from you guys what you think about kind of like me entering the breeding journey. I look there's a whole argument people can go down that you know the market is already oversaturated and you shouldn't be breeding just to breed. Firstly, I would never breed more than I can hold myself. Like I'm not, I would never breed to like just sell on to thousands of people. Like I would, I would breed within my means of what I can support without selling, which would only be like two or three. That's all I envision for myself, um, especially to give not only myself, but to gain an understanding of what potentially could come from this horse. Um, I think I will be breeding first from Emporio and then potentially from Serena a little bit later. Uh, but we will see, there's, there's, there's just so much excitement happening, babies and foals make me so happy. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys think, let me know what you guys, like, let me know what... Do let me know how you think an Emporio baby would come out, what kind of mare would suit uh, Emporio, because I've been looking and I would like an elite KWPN mare or an elite warm blood mare. I want something really, really good for the sport that I can kind of mix that side of everything with the beauty and passion of a Puri horse. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye bye.